So in this next problem, we have find the equation of the axis of symmetry of the function. You have y equals, you have 2x squared minus 7x plus 5. So in hand up natin guys is axis of symmetry. So yung axis of symmetry guys is the line which bisect yung parabola natin na magpapatch sa vertex na i-divide niya yung parabola into two equal parts. So, yun, siya yung nasa gitna. Siya yung axis. Yung axis of symmetry. Now, here, i-drawing muna natin yung parabola. So, in this uh, case, guys, yung naka-square natin yung x. So, it means that it's either upward or downward. So, hindi pa natin alam. So, gawin natin yung form na x minus h squared equals, you have 4a times y minus k. So, i-complete square natin ulit siya. So, here you have 2x squared minus 7x. So, ilipat natin yung constant. So, y minus 5. Then, ito guys, i-complete square natin siya. So, bago natin siya i-complete square guys, i-divide muna natin siya sa 2. Kasi dapat, pag nag-complete square ka, 1 yung coefficient nung naka-squared. So, hindi pwede to. So, i-divide natin both sides by 2. You have your x squared minus 7 halves x equals y minus 5 all over 2. Now, kailangan natin mag-add in this area para maging complete siya. So, gamitin natin ulit guys yung process na tinuro ko kanina. So, that is b squared over 4. So, i-square natin yung coefficient nito. Then, i-divide natin sa 4. So, x squared minus, you have 7 halves x plus. So, that is 7 halves squared, squared divided by 4. So, kung anong inod natin dito, yung din ang i-add natin sa other side. So, y minus 5 all over 2 plus 7 halves squared all over 4. So, we have here guys, yung x squared minus 7 halves x. So, you have 7 halves squared over 4. So, that is just 49 over 16. So, equal. So, you have y minus 5 over 2 plus you have 49 over 16. Now, ito na siya. So, x. So, that is minus. So, minus yun. So, minus yung kanyang square. So, ang square root ng 49 over 16 is you have 7 fourths. So, ito ay 7 Fourths. So, that is squared. So, equals. So, ito guys, isimplify lang natin siya. Yung y minus 5 over 2 plus 49 over 16. So, ito y over 2 minus. So, 5 halves plus 49 over 16. So, that is equal to. So, y over 2. So, i-compute natin to. This will be. So, plus. So, 9, 16. Factor out natin yung common, which is 1 half. So, 1 half times, you have y plus, you have 9, 8. So, pinactor out natin yung common na, which, which is 1 half. So, x minus 7 fourth squared. So, ito na yung equation natin, guys. So, itong left side natin here, ang right side natin, I mean here, is positive. Then, yung naka-squared natin is x. So, it means that it is concave upward. So, this is a concave upward. Upward kasi nakaharap yung vertex sa x. Bakit? Siya yung naka-squared. Now, i-illustrate natin yung figure. Then, yung h natin here is 7 fourths. Yung k natin is, you have negative 9, 8. Negative siya kasi yung form natin guys, ba? y minus k. So, y minus k, kung positive yung nakuha natin dito, this should be negative 9, 8. So, negative times negative, that is positive. So, dito ay negative 9, 8. So, ito yung ating vertex. So, drawing natin siya. So, yung h natin, guys, is 7 fourths. So, let's say 7 fourths. So, 7 fourths. So, x. Then, yung y natin, guys, is negative 9, 8. So, 1, let's say somewhere here. So, negative 9, 8. So, this will be our vertex here. So, this is 7 fourths 
negative 9 eighths. So, concave upward. Now, our line of symmetry is, of course, this line. We are required to find the equation of that line. So, that line passes through 7 fourths here. So, that line is, uh, is characterized by our linear equation, which is x equals 7 fourths. The line is x equals 7 fourths. So, we have 4x equals so 7. So, our line will be 4x minus 7 equals 0. So, ito yung, you have the axis of symmetry. Now, alternate solution tayo, guys. So, you have here y equals, so 2x squared minus 7x plus 5, right? So, yung x natin, x coordinate of your vertex, which is h, is equal to same process. So, kuhin natin yung coefficient nung first degree na x. So, kung h siya, so x din tayo. So, negative 7. Pull over, so you have negative 2 times coefficient nung naka-squared. So, 2. So, that is 7 fourths. So, it means that the answer is 7 fourths. Yung line that demands 7 fourths, which is x, ito. This is, let's say, 7 fourths. Dadaan siya dyan, 7 fourths. So, this line, x equals 7 fourths. So, you have 4x equals 7. Then, you have 4x minus 7 equals 0. So, in the body sum, guys, we discard natin if pwede naman siya nating masolve agad. Even though, hindi tayo dadaan sa napaka-complex na solution. Anyway, Kung ganun yung solution niya, sometimes kasi, pinahanap pa rin yung vertex. So, it means that, kailangan pa rin natin isolve yung k, which is the coordinate of the vertex, so sa y-axis. Now, let's go to our next and last sample problem. So, this next problem, you have compute for the focal length and the length of the latus rectum of the parabola y squared plus 8x minus 6y plus 25 equals 0. So our equation, guys, is we have y squared plus 8x minus 6y plus 25 equals 0. And inanap natin dito, guys, is yung required is the length of latus rectum then yung focal length. So, in here, guys, may alam natin kung ano ba yung latus rectum na to. So, we have here y squared plus 8x minus 6y plus 25 equals 0. So, second step na tayo, i-drawing natin yung parabola by completing the square. Kuhin natin yung vertex. So, you have y squared separate minus 6y equals so you have negative 8x minus 25. So, y squared minus We have y squared minus 6y plus we have 6 squared over 4. 4. So, equals so negative 8x minus 25. So, yung inad natin at both sides. So, you have 6 squared over 4. So, y squared minus 6y plus so 6 squared over 4 that is 36 over 4 that is 9. So, equals negative 8x minus 25 plus 9. Ito, square root of 9, that is 3. So, you have y minus 3. So, that is squared equals. So, negative 25 plus 9, that is, you have 16. So, that is negative 16. So, you have y minus 3 squared equals. So, negative 8x minus 16. So, common factor nito, negative 8. So, negative 8 times x. So, you have plus 2. So, here yung k natin guys is, you have 3. Yung h natin for x, that is negative 2. Ngayon ito guys, yung negative 4a natin, that is negative 4a in, the, in this form, that is negative 8. Kung equation lang guys ang pagbabasayan natin, the length of your latus rectum is 4a. The length of the latus rectum is 4a, so that is equal to 
we have 8. Ito na yung length of lattice rectum. Then yung focal length, which is the distance from the focus to the vertex, is equal to your A. So, the focal length F is equal to your A, which is equal to, we have 2. This is our final answer. Now, i-draw natin guys para mas maintindihan natin kung ano ba yung lattice rectum. So, yung graph natin guys is concave to the left. So, we have H negative 2. So, our H is negative 2. So, 1, 2. So, negative 2. Then, yung K natin is 3. So, 1, 2, 3. Then, we have here concave to the left. So, this is squared equals negative 8 times quantity x plus 2. We have x coordinate of the vertex, negative 2. Then, positive 3. Vertex, this is negative 2, 3. Then, yung a natin is 2 units here. So, ito yung focal length natin which is 2 here. Diba? This is negative 4. So negative 4, A equals negative 8. So it means that for uh, A is equal to 2. So the focal length here is equal to 2 units. So this is 2. Now, what is the lattice rectum? So yung lattice rectum guys, if you draw a line from the focus, this is your focus, to the other side of your parabola, you have this length of lattice rectum. So, i-extend natin yung focus to the other side of the parabola. So, yung both sides ng opening niya. So, itong length, this length, is what you call the lattice rectum. That's why yung form natin is naka 4a doon because the length of the lattice rectum is given by 4a. So in this case, kung 4a siya, yung 4a natin, that is 8. So ang length ng lattice rectum natin dito is 4a that is 8. So that's it guys. I hope that you have learned from this video. So thank you guys for supporting this channel. Hope to see you guys and God bless you.